What is up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're just prepping some stuff on the uh, front bar, trying to get it into paint. Well, I'm gonna paint, it's not going in a booth or anything. Just painting it all black and clear coating it just so it looks good. Um, and first off, we have a lot of stuff that we have to do. Uh, I thought I was just gonna have to give this a quick little buzz down, a quick little sand of 500 or something like that, and then I could start painting, but it appears that there is quite a bit of damage on these parts. Not only the front bar itself that we have to prep for actually getting painted, but uh, the plastics, now I've got just here, there is quite a bit of damage on here that uh, the guy I bought them off didn't seem to tell me about. Um, there's a couple cracks, a couple splits, a couple this, a couple that. Um, I will have to give like front black bit a good, a good sanding and everything like that. I'm just gonna smash them out and everything. Um, wish I could be out with the wagon filming some of it, but painter has a daytime job at the same time, so I can't just go and do that willy nilly. But I'll just smash this out. I'm just trying to sand it down now, and then I'll come back to you when it's pretty much ready to clean and paint. Since all this stuff will have so much uh, prep work it needs, this is a universal mount from Low Fabrication. Oh, easy to read from there. Low Fabrication for a AH Astra, or any Astra uh, power steering pump, which is what I ordered for the wagon. And I got it in raw just because it was a little bit cheaper. Um, and I knew that I had these DNA uh, cans for the Red Rush Color Shift. So I'm just gonna paint this for that color because obviously it needs to be painted and uh, then I'll clear coat it. So it should uh, come out pretty good. All right, we'll start with this one and uh, get some color on it. So I'm just gonna start with this pure black base coat. Uh, just letting it, I uh, just wiped it off with some prep sole and everything. Just make sure that it's absolutely completely flashed off. Just let that flash off and then I'll put on a good coat of base. Now one thing I'm also going to do is this survived off the uh, crashed wagon and this is the rear trim that goes over the tailgate. Now this is designed to be forged carbon fiber um, and obviously forged carbon fiber at least from what I've seen doesn't come in a dry or matte finish and I've always wanted to test clear coating it so while I've got some clear coat out warming up I'm going to clear coat this too and as well if this does fail we do have a spare from the new tailgate uh, for if this I don't know doesn't work or something but I've just cleaned it with prep sole I'll let this dry up and then I'm just gonna give it a go. Chuck some layers on there and see how it comes out. And then we can answer the age old question of what does clear coated vinyl wrap look like? Especially this uh, forged carbon from Vivid. Alrighty, so got the base coat down on the uh, mount. It's all dry and everything. I'm gonna give the uh, first coat of this color shift red rush. Um, these are some awesome freaking cans. If you wanna get these, uh, just Google them. I'm pretty sure their website's probably just DNA paints or custom paints.com. I don't know, just Google them. Oh, look at that. It literally says it at the bottom just there. DNA-paints.com. You can get some incredible aerosol cans from their website. And they're not that expensive. All right, let's see how this comes out. Test spray. All right, I'll let that dry. There is some flake in this too, so I'm just going to do a very dusty coat just so that all the little flake particles are kind of standing up, not flat down with the wet coat, so. Let that dry and I'll give it a good another coat. Always make sure after you paint too, turn the can upside down, spray it until you see clear coming out. Just so that you clear the, the nozzle tip so that you're not gonna gunk it up when the next time you're painting. And it is always good to warm up your clear coat. Uh, I mean, it was cold this morning, but it's actually really nice weather today. Um, but it's always good to warm up your clear coat, warm up any paint, just get it to room temperature. It atomizes better, comes out of the can better, comes out of the gun better. It'll always look better if it's at least got some temperature to it. Don't paint clear when it's cold. Yeah, you can see that tiny little bit near that E where it's just still flashing off. You can see what this will look like, but it's just dried right now. So it has a bit of a flat texture to it. Now let's chuck some clear coat on it. Also, while I was doing this, just uh, gave this little panel up a quick scotchy and uh, with uh, some gray scotchy and uh, just did one quick, very light coat with the uh, black base coat. Um, I might do that front trim too, but it is being annoying. See, and this was the main thing that I'm having an issue with. We're going to obviously need to buy a new one of these at some point, but broken the complete bloody way through. How fun. Alrighty. I suppose we may as well prep this. 
because this also has some damage on it. I'm just gonna scotchy through it and sand through it, go through the grades and then base coat it and clear coat it. All right, I've slightly repaired this, gotten the complete chipping and everything that was out of it, given it a quick base coat. You will still be able to just see it through it, but I'm gonna buy a new one of these. Like I'm just doing this for the sake of it right now, just so that we can slightly piece the car back together. Um, I gave another another coat on this just to make sure I had complete coverage. Um, did the top trim, which again we're gonna need, need we're gonna need a new one anyways because this one's broken. And I'm only doing one of these out of the front bar right now because I want to see what it looks like with it. Like I want to see if it's worthwhile doing it. Uh, alrighty, and then I'll get the trim and we'll click it. Now I choose to do it out here because clear coat, clear coat over spray sucks. So instead of masking everything off, I just do it out here with the door shut. Then because it, all the oversprays out here doesn't exactly have something to settle on because there's a tiny breeze. Started from the mud, now you see us going up. Numbers never lie, now you see us blowing up. People use the front, now you see them showing up. So what's up? I've been down and out, but look, look, look. I'm trying to get where I'm going, but hey, this be Charlie, that's where they thinking you got me right where you want me. I tell a ghost, just duck, duck. Sending them shots, we send them back. Yeah. All right, so I've done my third coat. I think definitely these top bits are done. Probably the grill trim, the uh, power steering mount, all done, but I think this front trim piece, just because of like obviously the design of the weave, you can see that like it looks like orange peel, I think it's kind of just filling in the tiny little gaps, I might just stack on one more heavy coat after this, just so that it's uh, more glassy like this, although this has a little bit of orange peel too that I might polish out, but they still came out great. As long as you keep that wet edge and really stack it on there, just find that fine line between a, uh, a run and just having it clear, but tiny bit left. I'll just smash another one over the top of the rear trim and we'll see how it goes. All right, so that's the final coat. And I think the weirdest thing is, is yeah, how cool is that? It just completely filled in the vinyl. You can't even see the pattern anymore. I mean, like I definitely don't hate a gloss black uh, trim piece. So uh, it, it like the for the sake of experimentation, it really doesn't phase me how it came out, but that's so weird how like just stacking clear coat on it has completely hidden it. Can't see any of the design now. That is pretty cool though, like pretty nuts. Either way, I do love the fact that it is gloss black. And I might just wrap over it again if I feel like it, but it seems like we're painting everything on the car. This will look super nice and classy on it. All right, I'm just gonna let these sit and dry. Try my hardest not to touch them because that's the first thing I like to do after I paint for some reason, because you just want to see if it's dry or not. God, I really stacked the clear on thick here and it really turned out well. Like I said, finding that brief, tiny line between um, getting a run and uh, just stacking it on and God, it came up with like a mirror finish. That'll look cool with a nice little buff. Now, Maybe I, maybe I will just keep that. You can see though, just here, where there's damage, where I couldn't see it before, but the clear is obviously showing it now. I, you can see where I couldn't be bothered repairing it properly. That's because it's gonna be behind a number plate. Um, good, you, you can't see any of those repairs now that there's clear over it. We'll see how, how it looks once it's dry and in the sun, but maybe we'll just use that for the sake of it. it does look good. Alrighty, go inside, let them chill for 20 minutes, half an hour. And I'll uh, put them in the sun. And everything. I think I've kind of noticed, if you see that's black, at least in this light, it looks a tiny bit blue, which is a bit weird. But you can see the effects of the color shift. Oh, look at that. That is so cool, hey? Or if we turn it around, it's still a tiny bit sticky, so I don't want to be touching it too much. I'm sure I say that while I'm dragging corners around, but that cools out. Now 
Now, if we didn't paint the engine bay, this was gonna be the color that I was going to paint it. Because as you can see, like from some angles, it's kind of got a red to it. And then from other angles, it's kind of got like an orangey gold to it. And I thought it would have contrasted nicely against the um, against the red of the actual car, but we painted the engine bay, so I had this like kind of leftover anyways. So I thought I'd use it on this. I don't know where I'm gonna mount this. I don't even know if I'll mount it in the engine bay. I might mount it, I don't know, somewhere else in the car. Um, but everything else has seemed to turn out quite nicely. Um, yeah, the clear on this is actually leveling out really flat and really nice. So I might be leaving this for a while because um, as I was told by my painter, sure, baking the clear coat will set it, but cold weather is good for it because that gives it the maximum time to level out and flatten out and and uh, and cure and everything. So I'll probably just leave these in, in, in here for a while and let them cure up. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that I have to buff out and probably wet sand, but I'm kind of keen for that, so I can't wait. But I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. Looks pretty good. Um, some of that is just kind of dusty on the top. I did notice too, I don't know if you can pick it up in this light. It is a tiny bit dusty, but that'll just be sitting on top now. Um, the paint right now is cured enough to touch it, but if you were to push on it, it would leave it leave an imprint or a fingerprint. So the dust on it will be fine, it'll come off, but I'm not going to touch it right now. Um, I don't think you can see it from here, but I was obviously painting this um, when it was a bit too close to these. So I have these tiny, tiny, tiny little red flakes just kind of scattered through it a little bit. And it looks awesome. It almost looks like I did it intentionally. And I kind of wish I did because yeah, it came out freaking cool. But I think that's these done at least. Crazy that you can't see that weave whatsoever. It's gnarly. Now it is just this camera and this light that is making it look kind of blue. But right now, my eyes, I can't tell the difference between that and that. Alrighty, that's probably gonna be the end of today's video. Oh, it is such nice weather out today. Um, probably the end of today's video. I just wanted to paint a couple things. Like, I, I did want to go out to the painters and um, and look at the wagon and see how it was doing, but it just didn't line up at the moment. Um, I'll get out there this weekend, minimum. So Monday, you'll see the full car together and painted, which would be cool. Hopefully, hopefully if this weather holds out and this awesome weather, we can get it in the sun and it'll look great, which would be killer because I want to see it in the sun. I've only had those three pictures. I haven't shown you the three pictures. Go on Instagram just here and you can uh, look at the picture. But yeah, other than those few pictures, I haven't seen it at, like at all pretty much. So I'm I'm keen to see it all pretty much getting together. I'm, I'm probably going to be helping him put it back together and assemble it, which will be fun. And also, uh, we have word from APM that the engine, all the machine work, all of the work for, for like the, for the block and the bottom end and all that stuff, all that work is done. It just needs to be assembled now. So hopefully, soon enough, we will have the video of it on the engine dyno. So we will see the blown methanol L98 freaking awesome setup on the engine dyno, revving its tits off, winding like crazy, hopefully. And that'll be awesome because we'll be able to actually see the car running. We'll actually be able to see the engine running probably a long while before it'll be running in the car because there's just a lot to do once it's in the car to get it to the point of running again. So it'll be awesome to know that not only does it already run, knowing what power it makes and knowing that once we hook everything up to it, it's ready to go. But yeah, that's what we're going to be of today's video. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will be Friday, 6 p.m. Um, hopefully we might have a good, good little sneak peek of the car. Um, if not... I've got some other things planned in my head to uh, to show you guys for Friday. Alrighty, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one, Friday, 6 p.m. Be there or be square. Alrighty, guys. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat. I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly. It's turning to envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm.